Hello everybody, Max here with your fix of gaming news. Coming up, a new report claims that we'll probably see a live service Horizon game way before we get a third installment in the mainline series. Another report claims we almost got shows based on some of Blizzard's games, and yet another report still that a popular fast food chain refused to let their mascot be in Tekken. Let's get into it. Allegedly, an online game set in the Horizon universe is currently Guerrilla Games' primary focus, which is kind of bad news for anybody hoping we'll get a single-player sequel to Zero Dawn or Forbidden West, because apparently that's still likely a ways off. Speaking on Spawnwave Spawncast, Bloomberg reporter and games industry gumshoe Jason Schreier explained, quote, Guerrilla is an interesting place because they're working on this Horizon online game that dot 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 I'm not sure how many people want that. They've got this Horizon Zero Dawn remaster coming in the LEGO game, LEGO Horizon Adventures. What happens if neither of those hit and it turns out there isn't a ton of interest in Horizon anymore? Are they still gonna be doing the online game? There are a lot of questions around their strategy and around that online game that I certainly have." End quote. This isn't the first we've heard rumblings about a live service Horizon game, but it's frustrating news for anybody hoping that a multiplayer project wouldn't interfere with the mainline series. It's also a bit concerning given Sony's recent track record for live service games. There was Naughty Dog preemptively pulling the plug on that Last of Us multiplayer project, and then there was Sony pulling the plug on Concord just two weeks after it launched, and a while back we got an official statement that PlayStation had 12 live service projects in development, but was only committed to launching six of them by the end of next year. I don't know how many of those are actually gonna come out, but we'll have to wait and see. There's obviously still potential for live service games to be a huge success, as demonstrated by Helldivers 2, but it also sounds like publishers are being a bit more cautious these days. Anyway, if you want more offline Aloy, Horizon Zero Dawn's remastered version hits PS5 and PC on October 31st, and LEGO Horizon Adventures is out two weeks later for both those platforms, plus Nintendo Switch. Apparently, we almost got Netflix shows based on Diablo, StarCraft, and Overwatch. This report also comes courtesy of Jason Schreier, who is currently making the rounds to promote his new book all about the history of Blizzard Entertainment. Schreier revealed this in a Reddit AMA, that the original Netflix series were in development, but were quickly scrapped after Activision Blizzard sued Netflix for allegedly poaching their CFO, Spencer Newman. There's not really much else to the report, but it truly sounds like a missed opportunity. Blizzard cinematics have always been some of the best around, and fans have been clamoring for years to see them adapted into longer form content. So maybe we'll see some Blizzard properties pop up in Prime Video's Secret Level series? We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, you can expect plenty more juicy tidbits about projects at Blizzard that almost happen in Schreier's book, Play Nice, The Rise, Fall, and Future of Blizzard Entertainment, which is out a week from tomorrow. Finally, here's your wackadoo curveball news story for the day. Tekken development chief Katsuro Harada tried to get Kentucky Fried Chicken founder and mascot Colonel Sanders to join the fighting game's roster, but KFC said no. Speaking to the gamer, Harada explained, quote, a long time ago, I wanted to have Colonel Sanders from Kentucky Fried Chicken fight, so I asked to use Colonel Sanders and go to the head office in Japan. And there, apparently Harada's pitch was turned down with a, quote, bad look. Weirdly enough, Colonel Sanders would eventually get a video game. In 2019, I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator was released on Steam. And not only did KFC okay it, they were the ones who commissioned it. So maybe they'll change their mind about letting the Colonel appear in Tekken? I would certainly hope so. The bigger question though, is if we'll ever get a Tekken stage based on a Waffle House restaurant, something that fans have been demanding to the point that Harada asked for further explanation, which kind of suggests he's potentially open to the idea. Somehow, I think it's gonna be harder to convince the Waffle House company to go along with that plan. What fast food mascot do you want to make an official guest appearance in a video game? Sound off in the comments below. I think they should put Grimace from the McDonald Land into Mortal Kombat. I want to see what's inside that big purple dude. They could also put Jack in the Box. Jack of Jack in the Box, whatever that guy's name is. I, they should put him in COD, even though he's got a giant head that's going to be way too easy to shoot. That is your fix for Monday, September 30th, 2024. If you haven't yet, go check out some of the trailers and reveals from Tokyo Game Show. And for all of your gaming news, keep it right here on IGN.